Hey, welcome back to Hacksmith. I'm Joseph, a developer advocate with AppSmith. And in today's video, we're gonna learn how to make a pivot table so you can take data from one row of a table, turn it sideways, and then display it in another table widget so that you'll have all your data going from top to bottom like a form, but using a table widget. All right, let's get hacking. Here I've got a finished version of what we're gonna build. You'll have two columns, one with an, the name of all the properties and then one with the values. And so first we've got to take a row for the source data and then we map over that, take all the values and turn it into the right format for a table. So let's check it out in the app. Here I've got a table where each row that gets selected updates this table that shows it in a detailed view. So first we have to get a list of all of the properties that the object has and then map over them, or actually we're gonna use reduce. So let's check out the JavaScript. And it's basically a one-liner. I just got it kind of spread out for formatting here. All right, so we pass in an object and I give it a default of the current row, the top row here. And that gives us back an array of properties and values. So this is the format we want in the table, but we're starting with just a row of the regular data. And so first let's look at the object keys. So if I comment out the rest of that, the key from this object, the keys from it, just the names of the properties, we're going to reduce that list. And so the second function the second uh, parameter of this reduce here is the initial value. So we start with a empty array and then reduce this array by taking the accumulator. We're going to start with the empty one and then concatenate on a set of the property and value. And so it will go to the next field and generate another set of those property and value pairs for us. So then we can connect that to a different table widget here. And you can see that this table, I wanted to format the left side here like a header since we're turning the data sideways. So I just gave it a background color and bold. And since all of this data would be a row, we've turned it sideways. I'm formatting the side here to look more like a header as well. And so the finished effect is uh, it's a different way to view your data, similar to connecting to a JSON form, uh, but it's just laid out a little differently. And then maybe you could even enable the table editing here and you'd have to pass those values back to the first row. Uh, but it's a cool uh, approach, a different way to lay out your data and, uh, and it could save you a lot of time so that you don't have to line up widgets for all of these with individual inputs and text widgets. So. All right, that is the next video in our Hacksmith series. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.